The Republic XF-91 Thunder Scepter was an experimental American interceptor aircraft designed in the late 1940s to counter the growing threat of high-speed enemy bombers. Developed by Republic Aviation under the direction of Alexander Kartveli, the project focused on combining jet and rocket propulsion to achieve rapid climbs and high interception speeds. The aircraft used a General Electric J-47 turbojet for most flight conditions and four small rocket engines for additional thrust during fast climbs and attack runs. This mixed propulsion concept aimed to give the interceptor the ability to quickly reach high altitude targets before they could strike. The Thunder Scepter was based loosely on the Republic F-84 Thunderjet airframe, but it underwent significant modifications. One of the most distinctive innovations was its inverse tapered wing. Unlike typical swept wings that narrow toward the tip, the XF-91's wings widened as they extended outward. This addressed the dangerous pitch-up problem encountered in early swept-wing fighters, especially at high angles of attack. By increasing cord at the wingtips, the entire wing stalled more uniformly, improving stability during low-speed maneuvers such as landing and dogfighting. The larger wingtips also provided internal space for the main landing gear, which retracted outward into the wing rather than into the fuselage. The aircraft featured a variable incidence wing allowing the entire wing to tilt upward during takeoff and landing while keeping the fuselage level. This improved pilot visibility and lowered landing difficulty. Later in development, a radar-equipped nose forced the engine intake to be relocated to a chin-mounted position beneath the radome. The first prototype flew on May 9, 1949, and in December 1951, it became the first American fighter to exceed Mach 1 in level flight. When using both jet and rocket power, it reached speeds up to Mach 1.71. Only two prototypes were built. One was lost after an engine failure and later tested with a V-tail configuration. The second prototype, Serial 46068U, survived and is displayed today in the Research and Development Gallery of the National Museum of the United States Air Force at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Despite its achievements, the XF-91 was ultimately overtaken by rapid advances in jet engine performance and the introduction of more capable interceptors. However, its aerodynamic innovations and experimental propulsion concepts left a lasting influence on subsequent high-speed aircraft research.